Uh, my sister actually prompted me one, one, uh, one weekend. She gave me an article that was in the Times and they had, um, they covered a lot of underground restaurants that were kind of popping up and they started just throwing down dinners at different places. In these underground dinners, these chefs are really cooking what they want. You're at the will of the chef. Furthermore, you don't have to worry about profit margins. So the chefs are able to do, um, be more creative. Sometimes it's invite only, sometimes it's word of mouth. Uh, we've got eight people coming tonight. Cheers. Cheers. There's a lot of people nowadays that think the restaurant setting is a little too formal. And I don't mean formal in the sense of white tablecloth. People want to be together and just enjoy it in, in a leisurely pace. They have servers, they decorate a room specifically for that dinner. They have um, uh, specific music being played, even maybe videos in the background if they have a certain theme. It's very theatrical in my, in my opinion as well, putting on a dinner like that. Cooking is such a creative process too, you know, I mean, you've got, there's a, there's a flow in the, in the kitchen, there's a flow uh, for the creative process of kind of working with flavors and stuff like that, so that's how I share myself with my friends and my family is, you, you, know, you cook something for them. I think it gets more people involved in food culture and they become more aware about uh, sustainable agriculture and sourcing ingredients locally. It's important to buy from local farmers and uh, purveyors because it, it supports our local economy. In Detroit proper, I mean Easter Market obviously, uh, and Royal Oak Holiday Market is great, Papa Joe's, um, if I wanted poultry or duck I would go to Capital Poultry. <laughs> I, I could probably botch up a couple of dishes and, and they, they wouldn't care, but it's just really about getting together and having a good time. It builds a sense of community. People get together on a Saturday and um, are able to talk and, and socialize and gather together. Okay, we got grilled baby asparagus with an um, egg sauce. And to become a veteran foodie, I think um, you just need to read about food a lot, experience food a lot, dine out a lot, hopefully cook a lot in your own home. Uh, there's forums online, there's a ton of food blogs right now. Uh, singleguyschef.com is a, it's actually just my personal cooking blog. I used to teach some of my single guy friends, that was the whole idea behind my blog, is that um, they would want to put together a meal for their girlfriends or whatnot, Valentine's Day, so they'd come over and we'd just work on a menu. This underground dining thing in restaurants and underground restaurant culture has been kind of going on for, for few years in other cities, but here it's just burgeoning and it's new. So you have a lot of opportunities to um, get in at the beginning here, whereas other cities I think there'd be a lot more competition, it'd be harder.